It's a pretty good documentary. It's from a Christian perspective, but I think regardless of what your religious beliefs are, you can gain a lot from this documentary. And this clip just shows some of the people backing 2012. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of globalists behind it, a lot of New World Order, you know, people who want to usher in this new one world religion, uh, one world government type people. So, I mean, that alone should make you pretty skeptical of it. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to play the clip. I mean, it, he does a really good job of laying this out. So, here you go. And prophecy. In fact, the elite New World Order, at the top of the pyramid, want the public to believe in 2012, thus proving that they are behind this propaganda. The Club of Rome, by its own admission, is a globalist think tank. The aim of this organization, founded by Urban Laszlo, is to solve the world's problems and erect a solution, a new world order, one world government, the same theme we have been talking about in the film. On January 31st, 2009, the Club of Rome held the Future of the American Hemisphere Conference. Francesco Stippo kicked the conference off with a speech. Francesco Stippo is a member of the U.S. Club of Rome. He authored the book World Federalist Manifesto, Guide to Political Globalization, where he states, quote, Political globalization is the creation of a world government which regulates the relationships among governments. Well, founder of the Club of Rome, Irvin Laszlo, along with popular New Age author and student of Jiddu Krishnamurti, Deepak Chopra, along with globalist Mikhail Gorbachev, have all authored a book together entitled World Shift 2012. This book advocates the 2012 theories extensively, so it appears that the elite have vested interest in this 2012 hysteria and they want the public to accept it. Irvin Laszlo's Club of Rome founded another spin-off organization called the Club of Budapest. Now it is this elite organization, the Club of Budapest, which is promoting 2012 and the New Age Ascension beliefs to the public. New Age members of the Club of Budapest include Robert Mueller, former General Secretary of the UN, and Barbara Marks Hubbard, who stated, quote, We have been projecting the transformation in 2012. It is happening now, unquote. Founder of the Club of Budapest, Irvin Laszlo, is also featured on the Pro 2012 Ascension website, worldshift2012.org. This website heavily promotes the idea that the world is about to end in 2012 if there isn't a transformation based on consciousness resulting in a new global order. Under the Partners section of the website, the State of the World Forum, which Zeitgeist is connected to, is listed on the site. This ties the New World Order to 2012 in that the 2012 hysteria is being pushed by the New World Order to the public to rally humanity together for a one world government. Under the endorsement section of the worldshift2012.org site, Mikhail Gorbachev is also listed. Mikhail Gorbachev, the communist New World Order advocate. Thus, it is quite clear that the global elite want people to believe in 2012 so that they can achieve their age of Aquarius one world system which they now claim will emerge in 2012. It's a very clever deception that a lot of people have fallen for. Will anything happen in 2012? Maybe. Will it have to do with any prophecy of Maya? No. If anything does happen, it will be the New World Order who engineers it and ushers in their global system. The reason the Christian anti-New World Order researchers have been silenced and replaced with New Age advocates is because the New World Order occultists and New Age advocates hate biblical... So, I mean, Gorbachev is a pretty high-level New World Order globalist. And if he is pushing this 2012 nonsense, then uh, we really should uh, look at the possibility of some sort of huge catastrophe or false flag being used as a way to usher in their new world order. Oh, and if you have any doubts about Gorbachev being pro new world order, I have a short clip to show you. I think even that, even that does not describe why the world has changed so much and why the world has turned so much toward a new world order and a new kind of civilization. Okay, and one thing I want to say real quick is anyone who's watching this who actually believes in the 2012 and is hopeful that it's going to be some great change for the better or, I mean, whatever they believe, I just want to say I'm not trying to attack your beliefs. 
I'm simply trying to find the truth, no matter what the truth is, which I think most of you, if you're watching this, probably are on a similar page as me. So I'm just considering the idea, seeing as how mainstream the 2012 idea is, idea is seeing how many people are pushing it, seeing how many globalists are pushing this idea. You just have to be skeptical of what these people are trying to sell to you. So that is just my perspective. I know there's so many different perspectives on 2012. But I think if anything does happen, it is going to be manufactured by the New World Order just to accelerate this uh, New World Order that they're setting up that much faster. So I'd like to hear any thoughts you guys have on this, um, e even if you believe in 2012 or if you don't or whatever. I just, like I said, I'm just trying to find the truth, and I think most of you are too. So, all right, that's it for now. All right, so yeah, that's the video, and uh, I'm just linking 2012 uh, with this because I, it's just the way everything's being timed right now. I mean, 2012 is just around the corner. And my head is just still spinning from these huge things that they're saying that the uh, media is kind of leaking out there. With the, the fact that these all these ex-military people with the nukes, the Catholic Church once again weighing in, and then last but not least the UN setting up someone to meet extraterrestrials, and the fact that it came out just all in this short period of time. That and then you got the 2012 hype. You got just the world is just spiraling towards the abyss. I mean, basically, I, I mean, there's so many issues, you know, economic just warfare. And man, I think the new world order is perfectly just setting up the perfect storm. And um, who knows what the end result will be? And uh, I don't say I don't say this to try to make you feel hopeless or negative. It's just the way I see things, and this is people, great, you know, great people like William Cooper have been warning about this for a long time, and then also Ralph Epperson, who I interviewed, he, you know, it's important to realize he, uh, everything he believed back decades ago about uh, the the elite setting up this uh, one world system and such, you know, the New World Order uh, conspiracy, and then also the Illuminati he talks about. Everything he believed back then has uh, only been reaffirmed through the many decades of uh, observation and experience. Because if there's one, I'm not a very old person, so I don't want to make it sound like I have tons of experience. But if there's one thing I've learned, there's only certain things that can be taught through experience. And um, so the fact that you know all of these uh, researchers they get into it, and then throughout the years everything they believe is just reaffirmed it's not saying oh maybe I was wrong you know it's uh, people like Ralph Everson I mean you ask him if this is just all a wacky conspiracy theory he would say he'd, he'd be like what are you talking about this I mean this is it this is huge this is the uh, system that we live in and yeah so like I said I'm just still trying to digest this all this is just um, yeah, I mean, trust me there'll be more analysis on all of this um UFO craziness, aliens, extraterrestrials, alien ambassadors, just complete craziness coming out from the mainstream. Still trying to just figure out what this all means, to be honest. So, love to hear uh, what you guys think about it. I've already got some uh, feedback from some of you on uh, like that video I made discussing the UN setting up an alien ambassador. And um, see, so yeah, I just let me know. Kind of a shorter broadcast today, just talking about Project Blue Beam and these huge uh, developments in the mainstream uh, kind of setting, you know, getting us ready for this fake alien invasion, which is, um, like I said, not definitely going to happen, and this could just all be just a huge psyop, you know, just a huge distraction, but I don't know, I really do f have a feeling in my gut there is uh, more to this, and most likely, uh, if this trend continues, they'll just keep leaking out more and more about, um, you know, extraterrestrial life, and UFOs and, and the whole thing. So, uh, yeah, I think that'll be my broadcast for today. I know it is kind of short, but I mean, really, I've hit on the most important points and and just uh, putting this out there. This uh, Project Blue Beam is seeming to be a very likely scenario more and more as time moves on. So, uh, the website's blackhelicopterradio.com. My name is Ed Walker. 
I will be back next week on starting on Tuesday and Thursday. And uh, trust me, that'll give me some time from now and then to just get more of research done on uh, all these topics and more. And you can expect some great uh, broadcasts coming up pretty soon in the future. All right, I'll talk to all of you then. It's a pretty good documentary. It's from a Christian perspective, but I think regardless of what your religious beliefs are, you can gain a lot from this documentary. And this clip just shows some of the people backing 2012. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of globalists behind it, a lot of New World Order, you know, people who want to usher in this new one world religion. Uh. Of Rome, Irvin Laszlo, along with popular New Age author and student of Jiddu Krishnamurti, Deepak Chopra, along with globalist Mikhail Gorbachev, have all authored a book together entitled World Shift 2012. This book advocates the 2012 theories extensively, so it appears that the elite have vested interest in this 2012 hysteria, and they want the public... Uh, one world government type people. So, I mean, that alone should make you pretty skeptical of it, but, um, yeah, I'm just going to play the clip. I mean, it, he does a really good job of laying this out, so here you go. ...and prophecy. In fact, the elite New World Order, at the top of the pyramid, want the public to believe in 2012, thus proving that they are atmosphere conference. Francesco Stippo kicked the conference off with a speech. Francesco Stippo is a member of the U.S. Club of Rome. He authored the book World Federalist Manifesto, Guide to Political Globalization, where he states, quote, Political globalization is the creation of a world government which regulates the relationships among governments. Well, founder of the club behind this propaganda, the Club of Rome, by its own admission, is a globalist think tank. The aim of this organization, founded by Urban Laszlo, is to solve the world's problems and erect a solution, a new world order, one world government, the same theme we have been talking about in the film. On January 31st, 2009, the Club of Rome held the future of the American Hemisphere.